Alright, the next we're going to be about the US to attend Huawei's temporary license for 90 days. Hamor on CGTN, which is China Global Charge Network, right on the Huawei's on outside of the front. Now, for this one, US Commerce Sec Sec Secretary Wil Wilbur Ross said Monday that his department will grant another temporary reprieve for another 90 days to Chinese tech giant Huawei. The next deadline, according to Ross, will be around November 19. It is another 90 days for the U.S. telecom companies, he said, not noting that some of the rural companies are dependent on Huawei. On May 16, the U.S. placed Huawei on an entity list with essentiality restrict some U.S. companies from selling their products to the Chinese tech giant. But days later, the U.S. eased some of those restrictions, a rollback that has taken into effect for 90 days for, from May 20th, allowing operation to continue for excluding Huawei mobile phone users and rural broadband networks. This is that's with the Huawei and 5G. This cell puzzles, and you can also easily watch it. What was about right over here? Hong Hong Hao, chief strongest uh, strategist for BOCOM International Holding on the global business with CGTN, and you can do that for whatever you prefer. Who's the victim? This is. This is what Joy uh, Tan, uh, Huawei, senior vice president for public affairs, that it wrote Huawei's U.S. space research and develop a sub a subsidiary for further way, lay, laid off 60, 600 employees, and and halted plans to invest 600 million dollars this year in IND activities. This comments from Huawei CEO Vice President of Public Affairs. This is from this is what, what Joy Tan just said for it. And you can read the whole paragraph. What was the Huawei's it took for the ninety days? Write down in the comments below. We always before sharing. Subscribe to my channel, Worldwide Campus News and Entertainment, and click the bell to see all the notifications about the latest video. As always, thank you very much for watching.